God's children, we are his people, we are his light in the world, we have been chosen. Welcome to the Joy of the Lord Show. This week's show is brought to you by the RIC Church, anonymous donors, and supporters and viewers like you. Our musical director is Christian Caulfield. And now, to introduce this week's special guest, it's your host, Father Richard Hill. Welcome. Welcome to the Joy of the Lord Show. Thank you for having us into your hearts and into your homes. Come with us on this 30-minute journey with the family of God into the Joy of the Lord. None of our shows, and this is a very special one because this is the last of one year of shows, no, none of our shows would be complete without giving the real movie star her time, Miss Lammy Pie. And the kids, as always, have come up with a joke for Miss Lammy Pie to share with you. So, we're so happy that you stayed here instead of going out to Hollywood. All right, Miss Lammy Pie told the children, the children told the ladies, and the ladies want me to tell you the joke is. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Why did the banana go to the doctor? I don't know. Let me see. Why'd you go to the doctor? There's a banana or two. I was told to do it like this. See that? Doesn't that look nice? Heard the cow jumped over the moon. Well, Lammy Pie jumped over the bananas. Anyway, the reason why the banana went to the doctor was because he wasn't peeling well. He wasn't, oh, I, that's getting groans even here in the studio. So if you groaned at home, don't feel all alone. I don't write this stuff, I just deliver it, and the kids are very happy when I do. He wasn't peeling well. Did I do that all right, Miss Lammy Pie? Okay, the kids will be happy, and if the kids are happy, then I'll be happy. Because believe me, when I forgot Lammy Pie's joke one time, I didn't hear the end of it for a long time. All right, since this is our last show, I wanted to share with you a few important moments. The thing that I'll remember the most <laughs> might not be what you think. The very first show, I was kind of stupid and green, and I thought we had to have the whole show scripted. So I sat down and I wrote out the whole show minute by minute, and I played it, and I uh, acted it in front of a mirror and, you know, all that stuff, thinking that I could bring myself with work up to a professional level. That was quite a little illusion that I had, but I got cured of it. I had this complete script, and we got to the studio, and we took out the little blue bag where I had my script, and it was the wrong blue bag. It had this tablecloth in it instead of my note. So I was frantically, with this little bitty pad and this little bitty pencil I was writing, you know, the type that they give you in a motel that are so cheap they don't care if you steal them? Well, that's what I had. Anyway, <clears throat> so I was frantically writing what I could remember. Well, let's see, I think at about 19 minutes left, I suppose. And I got all these notes written out, and I'm thinking, whew, maybe that's enough to fake it. So I stuck it in the inside pocket of my jacket, and I came in here. And as luck would have it, that particular day, all of the hand or the wireless mics had been used by the people before us and they hadn't gotten rid of them so all yet or turned them back in, gotten them recycled. And so <clears throat> I got kind of a backup one, which was, you know, this, it looked like a Heath kit built one. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it had a metal box with sharp edges. And, and it got pushed down in that same pocket. And I'm going, oh, wait, wait. So I sit down and I'm trying to pull these notes out of that pocket and it's ripping. They're ripping in little pieces. And I'm pulling these little pieces out frantically and setting them on the table in front of me and, and looking at them and shuffling them around, trying to make a jigsaw puzzle out of them, looking up. And all of a sudden, I'm like, hi, welcome to the Joy of the Lord show. <laughs> and that was our very first show. I learned then that the experts, like uh, Lee and Pam Sherrill, are right when they say, just have a theme, go on and talk, speak your heart, and there'll be plenty to say. So ever since then, we haven't overscripted the shows, as I guess you're, if you watch us often, you know that. And so anyway, that was the very first show, and I never will forget that lesson. God doesn't need my help that much. If I'll just get out here and pray and bring sincere Christians with me and try to share a, a useful word with you, 
part of our family, then God and his Holy Spirit take care of the rest. And that is a word for you to just relax into the Lord. Out there, I'm sure a lot of people are nervous and upset and biting their nails and wondering how this is going to work out and how that's going to work out. And I can tell you this, it's going to work out better the more of it you let the Lord work out. Because that, that, those little pieces of paper and all didn't help me very much at all. So, that was the very first show, and I always said I was going to share that before we were through with this show. I have a list of people I want to very quickly thank. Uh, some of these people are here, and they'll be doing the music here in a little while, but uh, some are not here, like Tom Stickles, 12-string Tom. He has watched many of our shows and given us uh, information and feedback. Uh, Mike Kruppenbach, uh, he's got an extremely large family of people who all have a different opinion and have helped us quite a bit. So, um, I'd like to thank the staff here, Sweet T, who has a show on Monday nights on the UA Network. Watch for it. I watch it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Matt and Mike upstairs taking care of things and making sure that it goes across the airwaves to you. And, of course, Lee and Pam Sherrill who run the station, and I'm going to tell you, if they tell you something, you can take it to the bank. So thank God for them, and I do. Uh, also, Bill and Zeta Pemberton out there on Pemberton Hill Road, thank you for watching and your comments. And Sister Shirley Glasgow, no thank you would be complete without thanking her. Then there's the people here, Jeff Nelson, Lois Jacobs, Paula Pemberton, Eric Engelman, Annette Engelman, and she made it. Marcia Henderson, thank God she, she made it. She, she had a wreck on the way in, so we didn't know if she'd make it or not, and she did. She made it, thank God. So we were all, uh, did I miss anybody? Oh, and I'm Father Richard Hill. Let's see. Did I, miss, <laughs> did I miss anybody important, though? Okay, and God bless us, everyone. So uh, today we're going to do most of the show with music. Here in a little while, we're going to sing, and we're going to sing the show away. Our last song will probably be Amazing Grace, because most of us are still amazed that God would have anything to do with us. I'm always asking God, don't you have some good kids to do what you're calling me to do? I mean, you know, some of the ones that didn't do all the terrible things I've done, that, that didn't need to be forgiven so much. I mean, surely some of those good kids, you've got them to do this, and God has always told me, he said, he brought the goodness, I just brought me. You know, he said, he doesn't need your abilities or mine, he needs your availability. And that's all you control anyway, is whether you approach him and spend time with him or not. All the rest of it, all the rest of the success is in his hands anyway. So praise God. Oh, one other person I forgot that I was supposed to have on here is Obi Obermark. He is our announcer whose voice you've been listening to in the roll in and the roll out, the beginnings. Uh, very good friend of the show. And he has a line he told me that I'll tell you now, I have a face that was made for radio. That's what he told me. He's a radio announcer here in the Dallas area. And uh, we might be on radio in the near future. Watch for us in the funny papers and on the radio. We'll try to see you there. Okay. So I think I took care of the thank yous and... Uh, I do have one announcement. One of the people that we had here, a young girl named Ainsley Ross, uh, she has uh, signed a movie deal. She's 14 years old. Her family has moved with her out to California. She's working with the producer of the movie, God's Not Dead. And we look forward to seeing her and her ministry in the future. And when you see Ainsley Ross, remember the Joy of the Lord show. So congratulations, Ainsley and her family. We have had a lot of great guests over the, this year, 52 shows, and I want to thank each and every one of them from the bottom of my heart. It is just wonderful to be able to share the family of God with you and be able to go out into TV land and share Christ with the people that are ready to receive him. So let's pray for those who aren't. Oh, those bananas look good. I might, here, y'all want some bananas? <laughs> there you go. Come get a banana. Anyway, uh, I guess they are too shy. Um, so, I have a few minutes before we start the music. 
I'd like to, just a couple, so don't worry. You don't, don't, don't change the channel. You're not going to listen to me very much longer. Uh, basically, we started this program to give unknown or little known or underknown artists an opportunity to come and show you what they could do. We were very much surprised at the great talent that was out there going untapped. And there's a lot of it on our stage here today that you're going to see here in a few minutes. Now remember, we didn't do any rehearsing together. This isn't a group that, you know, plays together all the time. This is what's called a pickup band. You come and you just join in if you want to. And uh, that is unheard of on television normally, but here we are. And uh, we have a lot of heart. We love each other. And we love you. Hope that you'll enjoy the music when it gets started. And um, I guess that's about all I have to say. I'm going to give uh, the show over to our music director, Christian Caulfield, so he'll have about one extra minute to talk and introduce the shows. How's that, Christian? Wonderful. Thank you so much. It's great to be here today. We're going to be playing uh, roughly seven songs, hopefully. And this first song is called I'll Fly Away. It goes like this. Some bad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. called Will You Would the Circle Be Unbroken?
song is called Would You Be Free? It's also known as Power in the Blood. Would you be free from the blood and the sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you obey the victory this wonderful a very happy song. I think everybody knows this one. This the light of mine. I'm gonna let shine. This the light of mine. I'm gonna let shine. This the light of mine. I'm gonna let shine. Let shine. Let shine. Let it shine. I did I know for sure. No, I'm gonna let shine.
make fun of you. Right? <laughs> This is a little number called When We All Get to Heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. When the mansion's bright and blessed, there'll be ever us a praise. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all A song called Jesus Loves Me. This is our last song for the evening. We want to thank you for watching. God bless you. We love you. And more importantly, Jesus loves you. Woo!